Welcome to Kids Art with Luca. The place to find fun kids art. Today we're going to have some fun with a barnyard creature, the rooster. Materials we need today are really bright, colorful tempras, or I have a few acrylics here for putting the dots in at the end, but you can use just tempers if, you, if that's what you have. You can even use watercolor. All right, and then you need some brushes for each color. I have about six here. And then I have a glass of water so that I can throw the brushes in at the end because you don't want your brushes to sit with the paint on them. All right, and a piece of plain white paper. So the first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of each color on our palette so that we can paint the different feathers, tail feathers on the rooster. And you want really bright colors because it makes it more fun, more visually interesting. I forgot orange. I'll put the orange in the middle. There we go. And I'm saving the black for the spots that I'll put on later. All right. Now, take your paper and think about how that rooster is going to look. He's going to have a re real swelled out chest and then a real fanned out tail. So, Take a brush. I actually wet it first so I get a little bit of um, the brush gets more absorbent if it's wet. Okay, so if I wet it, take some of the water out, and then I load the brush, usually by going in circles. Now I'm going to make his head right about here. And for his head, all he needs is a circle basically. And then I'm going to make his chest swell out, but I'm going to do it with stripes. So I'll just leave that brush there. I'm going to load any color that I want. I'm starting with pink. And remember, it's going to be smaller at the top because that's his neck. Okay. color after another in stripes. See what I'm doing? I'm making basically stripes down here so that his neck is elongated. And I want his chest to start swelling out, so I'm going to make them longer now. In fact, I think I'm going to go back and put a little bit more orange so it looks like he's swelling his chest out. See how it's longer on that side where his, where his chest would be poking out while he's get, gathering his breath so he can crow. Now I'm pulling him out longer at the back because I want it to look as if his back is arched when he's doing this. I'm going back around with the colors. And his chest is getting a little smaller in the front so that it will look like kind of delineates his body shape. A little more orange on there. Not showing very much. I'm going to change the pattern so it's not so repetitive. In fact, I think I'll put a little yellow in. We don't have any yellow. I might go right over this orange with my yellow. I want a little more yellow in here. I just think yellow brightens the picture up more. And now, I'm going to make it narrower at the back, because now this is where his body is getting smaller, going towards his tail. Now we're going to start the tail, which is the fun part. So what we're going to think about is it's going to fan up. 
So it'll be really showing off. That's what the rooster is basically doing. And you might have to go back and forth to get this one long enough. Get this stroke long enough. If I start at the top, it'll be easier to pull it down. And I do want it to sweep out a little more, so you don't necessarily have to have them the same length at the end, because the feathers wouldn't be. The feathers are going to overlap and be at different lengths. Ooh, I like that. See how it's starting to really look with the bright, brilliant tail. What color do you think I should have next? Huh, maybe oh, turquoise? No. Red, maybe. All right. And a little more yellow. Ooh. All right. Makes you feel like crowing, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Need a little more of that paint. You see what happened there? It sort of turned green because I overlapped them. You want to try not to overlap too much or you'll muddy up your paints. A little more yellow at the bottom. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I think my tail's probably full enough. Maybe one more swipe up there. A little yellow and go this way. There we go. So I think his tail needed to be fuller. Now we're going to work on his waddle, which hangs down below here. And it kind of, if you put your brush right there and then just kind of wiggle it, you'll get a bit. You know, my, my red on this one, red is looking pretty pink. I'm going to get a little bit more of the acrylic red because it's, it's more saturated. And try that again. So he's got his waddle, and then I'm going to pull it down like that. So it's hanging down like a waddle. It does. And then on the top, I'm going to give him that comb that's on top of his head. So I'm going to make it curl up and down and come right back here to the back of his head. Now I want an eye. I think I'll use blue. All right, we're going to give him a blue eye, just one big dot there. Now he needs a beak, so of course we're back to the orange. <laughs> That's a pretty thick brush. I think I'll use a small brush for the orange beak. Then it'll be easier to make the thin line if you use a smaller brush. Make him look like he's just singing out. I'm going to give him a big beak so we know he's really crowing. There. Okay. Oh, we forgot his feet. His feet. I need a little more orange for that. Load your brush. And then be really bold. Just go straight down. And then let his toes stick out. Now we're going to let it dry just a little bit before we put dots on. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of black on this because I'm going to dot with black as well as the dark blue. Put my dot colors in one spot. And I'm just going to put it, I just kind of think of myself as like hopping along like a kangaroo is what I do. You can think about yourself moving in any way you can so that it's rhythmic. There. See how that goes? Now, I'm going to show you with my finger. It'll be a little messier, but it might be interesting to see the difference. Okay, I, I put my finger down here. See how I loaded it, and then I tested it. Because sometimes if you have too much, it might muck it up. I'm going to put that one down here, I think, in the yellow. Same way. So you get a little irregularity to it, which I like. I think I'll put blue into the turquoise and see what happens. Okay, hmm. 
Let's put blue into the pink and see what happens. Hmm. And let's put blue in the orange. I like the way it's working. You can also use a pencil if you want, and you dip the eraser in. And let's put it on the green. See how it makes a pattern? It fades out if you don't reload. You have to reload every couple, two or three dots. Let's put a little on the turquoise. Turquoise and black always look good together, I think. And let's put some into the no, it'll look like Halloween if you put it in the orange. We'll put it in the pink. So, I think it's a lot more fun to use your finger because you feel freer with it. Let's see if it's too loaded. See how the dots really add some life to it? black on this blue because it's pretty dark. Hmm, wonder why the black's getting so wet there. Well, just do the best we can with it. Okay, now let's try blue. How about maybe a little more red will be done, I think. No? Looks like we still do need something in this part here. Let's put a few. Yeah. I'd love to see what you did. If you'd like to share your project, use the hashtag with Luca.